In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome digitized transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got two video clips on your timeline, make sure they're sitting one after another. So we've got our first clip here and that's running straight into our second clip here. If there's a gap between these two clips, then make sure you bring these together because this is really important. Now, from here, we're just going to select C on the keyboard to load the razor tool. If that didn't work for any reason, though, then you can just press this icon over here. That's the razor tool. Now we're just going to go towards the end of that first clip. So we're going to go to the very end and then we're going to go back on ourselves 10 frames. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll make a cut. Now we'll go to that same point, but we're going to go to the right 10 frames. And we'll make a cut. So now we've got these two mini video clips in the middle of these two larger video clips. So we'll go into effects and we're going to search for mosaic. Now mosaic should be in stylized. And once you've found that, you just want to drag that onto that first mini video clip. So that's the end of that first clip. And as you can see, the effect has applied. We've got this really blocky digital look to our footage, but we need to transition from the clip before into this effect. So we're going to go to the very start of that clip. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on horizontal and vertical blocks. And we're going to pull that all the way up to around 1000. And there you go. You can't see the effect when there's that many horizontal and vertical blocks. Now, if we scroll all the way to the end, minus one frame, so all the way to the end and then go left one frame and we pull these horizontal blocks down to 10. Now, if we play this back, you can see we transition into that mosaic effect, but it happens very much at the last second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second set of keyframes here. We'll go to the left and then we'll create a brand new set of keyframes there. So we'll press this icon here and press the icon below. We'll grab these frames and we'll pull these over towards the left. So this basically means rather than taking this long to get to that point, it's going to take only this long, which means it's going to draw out that mosaic effect for a little bit longer. There you go. That is much better than it was before. So we've got the mosaic in and now we need the mosaic out. So we're going to select that second video. We'll go to Stylo's mosaic. We'll drop mosaic onto that video. Now, before we started with the higher number and we finished with the lower number, but we're going to do the reverse this time. So we'll start on 10, create two new keyframes. We'll scroll all the way to the end at minus one frame. We'll pull that all the way up to a thousand. Now we'll go to the very beginning, go to the right by one frame, create two new keyframes, and we'll drag these two new keyframes over towards the right. Now, when we play this footage back, you can see we've got this really awesome digital block transition happening on our footage. So there you go. The digitized transition is really simple, but really awesome and really effective. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And if you wanted to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you on the next video.